Hi everyone and welcome along to Sonic Academy with me Chris. In this video we're going to take a look at the hefty update that's just landed for Logic 10. Logic 10.5 is now available on the App Store. Uh, so if you've got 10 go and grab it. If you don't have 10, uh, Apple are doing a 90 day free trial of Logic at the moment. So if you've ever been curious about Logic, now is the time to go over to the App Store, download it, start checking out, uh, checking out these new features. So the big feature I suppose first up we need to chat about is live loops and this kind of feels like if you imagine Ableton session view we now have cells here uh, arranged in a grid and these are scenes down here so we can actually play you know different arrangements Uh, we can record and jam out the arrangements using this button. Uh, so yeah, we can put in MIDI data. We can edit MIDI data within the cells. We can edit, you know, our audio. We can change loop points and quantize and transpose. All the normal things you can do to manipulate audio and MIDI within Logic are available in the cells. You can also link this, uh, sync this to your phone and to your iPad. So you can jam out on your phone and iPad arrangements. Uh, and you can also check out this new remix tool, which you can use on your phone and iPad to get delays or filters or repeaters. And second one over here, you can have all sorts of effects and we can, you know, have reverse time. We can time it. We can have bright, medium, all sorts of different functions in this new remix FX. So live loops, a cool way to perform, capture different arrangements and think uh, outside the traditional timeline. So very much, much more like Ableton, a really cool new feature in Logic. Looking forward to playing with that. The next cool new headline feature of Logic 10.5 is Sampler, which is kind of the next generation of EXS24. Uh, a big update to the uh, GUI. It is backwards compatible with the X24, uh, but just visually just much better looking now. You know, we, you can see the modulators. We can switch those on and off. We can see the mod matrix where everything's been rooted. Let's have a look at the mapping. Uh, we can see all the piano mappings and zones. Then we can go in and have a look at individual samples and the loop points. Uh, so yeah, look, create really sophisticated multi-sampling instruments, uh, elegant drag and drop workflows and automate, you know, quick production tasks. Really, really cool uh, to see this happening in Logic. Uh, the same filters, the pitch. So all the sort of, all the stuff. I think we've got two filters now, uh, which we have series and par parallel. So very, very cool. Another cool addition to Logic 10.5 is Quick Sampler. Very much a cut down version of sampler where you can manipulate and stretch and bend a single sample so you can either just drag and drop your samples into the uh, area you can import your voice memos you can use finder to grab stuff or you can record uh, directly in uh, so if you want to sing something and then you know manipulate that a uh, really cool interesting plugin uh, where you can quickly manipulate a sample and then if you wanted to you can bring that into the bigger sampler and build up really complex interesting in instruments so I'm really really looking forward to deep diving into this I think this is a really cool interesting uh, addition to Logic and something that I felt has been missing uh, for a long time when you were using EXS24 it was a bit cumbersome but this looks just like exactly what we wanted so uh, really excited about this one Next up, we have a new suite of beat creation uh, tools. And I suppose first thing we need to look at uh, is simple drum synth. A great new uh, way of creating synthesized drum sounds. So synthesized kicks and synthesized snares and claps, some percussion, toms and Cowbells and closed hat. So, a uh, cool, quick way of creating synthesized sounds, uh, very much aimed at sounding like the 808. We've also had uh, an update to 
drum machine designer. So we now in the cells, we have uh, what looks to be like a quick sampler in the cells so we can manipulate uh, things even more. And I believe within these cells, we can host plugins within the cells. So you can have like Anna too uh, in there with uh, a preset hi-hat and you can incorporate that into the drum machine designer. There's your clap. So we can, you know, reverse the clap. Even the crash, we can play it reverse. And then we have this new uh, step sequence. So we can start programming beats uh, from the drum machine designer in here. Uh, let's just play. Brilliant new tools to uh, create beats in Logic. Uh, something new, fresh, keeping uh, the ideas going, keeping it interesting. It also can uh, link to your, again, iPhone and iPad, so you can be doing beats on the move and then sync them to Logic uh, when you want to afterwards. So another cool, cool addition. So another area we're gonna look at is drag and drop samples. It's much easier now to build uh, kits and stuff uh, just by dragging samples from Finder or from your desktop or anywhere onto Logic. If you just drop to the track header, we now have a couple of options and I'm just going to drop it onto Drum Machine Designer and it should build then a kit of the samples I've uh, selected. It's built a very loud kit so we'll just turn that way way down. And then we can go in and create a cell, a pattern cell, and we can start uh, selecting a kick. And so we can play that. So there, in a couple of steps, I've grabbed a bunch of samples, opened up a plugin and started programming drums. Uh, a really, really cool, useful feature. I love all these new ways of working with Logic. Uh, it's, it's, it feels fresh. It feels really different and not stagnant. And it feels like it could be quick and optimized and very fast. So I'm really excited to dive in. Uh, love the new changes what we'll do over the next couple of weeks we'll deep dive into each of the areas we'll deep dive into the new drum machine designer and uh, step sequencer we'll dive into the sampler uh, the quick sampler and we'll look at live looping in much more detail so you know check out those videos as in come we'll probably do them on wednesday on our youtube channel and across the site so guys uh, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you all very very soon